the wall. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Badash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. Shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well as Brother Abiyah coming at you with a quick lesson here. This is Sirach 25. 13 through 17 it says give me any plague but the plague of heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman and any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me and any revenge but the revenge of my enemy it says there is no head above the head of a serpent and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman the wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. And let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Okay, so I came across this uh, video here, man. And um, uh, it reminded me of uh, a little bit of what I went through when I was a child, man. You know, I'd be walking with my mother on the streets or whatever. It, it seemed like every dude we passed was trying to holler at my mom's, man. My mom's is beautiful, you know, still to this day. You know, I call her a vampire, like, jokingly, because she don't age, you know. And that's something I had to deal with. I never, uh, you know, had to <laughs> push a dude off my mom's like he did, you know. But, you know, I went through similar things like that, man. You know, I'm not going to go into specifics. You know, but, um, yeah, this little kid was, was embarrassed, man, for his mother, you know, and angered. And you see all these you know, hyenas in the background laughing like this shit is funny. You know, a woman should know how to conduct herself, man. And that's the problem with Eve, man. They don't know how to conduct themselves, man. Even the older Eves, man, are, are horrible. They think it's all about bending over and shaking their ass, man. You know? And now he's crying because he's mad. He's wishing he was older. And look at the look that he gives his mother. It shows that he's losing respect for her, man. And she's sitting over there just dancing like it's nothing. You know, the fact that, you know, his feelings is hurt because he got to watch his mother act like this in public, man. That shit is not cool, man. It's not. Straight disrespectful, man. Let's get 56. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 56. Uh, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have uh, adventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter, man. Now, she had any care for herself or her son, she wouldn't be acting like that. You know, in front of him, man. You know, this is why a lot of these little children out here are, you know, dancing the way they are, acting the way they are, because they learning it from, you know, their parents, man. You know, and these women, you know, scriptures say if a, a woman live in pleasure, uh, she she's dead while she liveth, man. And a lot of a lot of Eves are, are just dead, man, from the neck up out here, man. Just dead, walking zombies, man. You know? And this kid, I respect him, man. He had the presence of mind. I know he wished he was older because he probably would have, you know, <laughs> he probably would have squabbled with that dude, man. You know? And he keep pushing him. You know he mad. You know, who wants to see uh, their mother in that light? Who wants to see their mother, you know, dancing like that with some random dude, man? Who wants to see that? Eve don't care, man. Let's get Sirach. I'm going to make this quick, too. Sirach 26 and 9. And it says, The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids, man. You know? And that's all you see is haughty looks and eyelids in the video, man. You know? That's all you see. Let's bounce down this 25 real quick. And it says, a shameless woman 
shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord, man. You know, a lot of these women are shameless. They don't care what come out of their mouth or what go into it, man. You know? They don't care. You know, they don't care about their actions. They don't care who sees them doing what they're doing, man. You know, a real woman, you know, would would uh, be mindful of what she does around her seed, man. Well, not around her seed, around her, her child, rather. You know? She would she would be mindful of what she's doing, you know. A woman that's not shameless wouldn't be do wouldn't be doing something like that, man. And look, he's shocked and appalled. Like, what the what the fuck is going on here? You know. This is why uh, you know two thirds gotta go, man. This shit is not gonna be going on in the kingdom, you know. And she should be with his father, with uh with the boy's father, man. But these women love to jump from man to man. Yeah, hey, Shalakia. Yeah, hey, she should be with, with his father, man. I know he wishes that. Instead of seeing his mother, she probably be having dudes over to the house. You know? Going through different men. You know? That's something I had to grow up and witness too, man. That's why this, this kind of uh, hits home a little bit, man. You know? Um, I mean, to be honest... I seen my mother maybe once or twice a month, you know, if that. And um, every time I go see her, she was with some, uh, you know, a different guy, man. And that she used to piss me off, man. You know, that's something that a son never wants to see his mother doing. A son never never wants to see his mother uh, conducting a, a herself like that, man. You know, that's something ho horrible to, to, to see, man, you know. Let's get Sirach 42. I'm almost done. Sirach 42 and 12 through 14 real quick. And it says, uh, it says, Behold not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of women. For from garments cometh a moth and from women wickedness. As better is the traillessness of a man than a courteous woman. A woman, I say, which bringeth shame and reproach, man. Okay, and that's what a lot of these women out here bring, man. Not all, but a, a vast majority of these women out here bringeth shame and reproach, man. Okay, because of their uh, activities. You know, the things that they're into, the things they're doing, man. It's bringing shame and reproach. You know, a women like that is not going to be, uh, you know, chosen uh, by men of the Lord, man, when Isaiah 4 and 1 come. You know, women like this, women with, with this mentality here are going to be the ones that get rejected in that day, man. Because their spirit is not right in them, man. You know? And I always say this, and brothers always say it, the Lord is going to put the, you know, the spirit of discernment on brothers to see, you know, the inward woman, man. What type of woman is she really? You know, so your looks... And, your, you know, your big ass and your, and your boobies and all that ain't going to help you in that day, man. What's going to count is the spirit, the inward woman, not the outward appearance, you know? And this is what a lot of women uh, count on, man. This is what they bank on, how they look, you know? But only to a, a man without wisdom, a man without wisdom is the only one that's going to be, uh, you know, taken by that, man, you know? A man with a man with wisdom, uh, you know, wants a woman with some intellect, man. You know, he wants he wants a woman that uh knows how to behave and, and, and how to act, man. Knows how to conduct herself. And a lot of these women have not been taught that, man. And this is why this woman here is doing this in front of her child. Cause she wasn't taught that. Let's get Titus. Second chapter. I read three through five. And it says the aged woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers and not given to uh, too much wine and teachers of good things. And these older women, right? These young grandmas out here, <laughs> they're not teachers of good things, man. They, they still trying to keep up with the Joneses and the latest dances, the latest fashions, 
You know, they still trying to be young themselves. You got 50 and 60 year old women out here dying their hair, uh, you know, rainbow colors, man. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, and to love their children. A lot of these women wish they never had their children. This is why they act this way. They wish they were still single so they can go out and do whatever the hell they want. If this woman really valued having a child, she would not act this way, especially not in front of her child, man. And things like this are, are, are better left for the, for the bedroom, man. Not in public for all to see. You know, these women are not discreet. And it says here, to be discreet, okay? These women don't know nothing about dis uh, being discreet at all, man. All they know about is being in the streets. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Heavenly Father be not blasphemed, man. And that's how it's going to be in the kingdom. These women are going to be obedient to their own husbands. No more monkey branching, no more, you know, rod jumping, none of that, man. A woman is only going to be with one man, you know? And she's sitting over there smiling, laughing while her son is, is, is hurt, pissed off, man, and embarrassed. And she can care less. Why? Because she's too busy worried about having a good time, man. And I can't wait till the mirth of this land is gone, man. Ain't gonna be no more dancing and laughing when the fucking food run out, when the electricity is cut off, when there's no more internet, you know? These women out here ain't gonna be worried about, you know, the latest dance move and the, and the latest TikTok trend and all this bullshit that's out here, man. All that is about to be wiped away. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to go to Isaiah 3 and 16. And it says, Moreover, the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet, Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And that's all you see is wigs out there, man. <laughs> you see Shorty back there with the blonde wig on. That's all you see is wigs, man. You know, that's a curse from the Heavenly Father. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink and instead of a girdle of rent and instead of well set hair baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Okay? And, you know, you know these women don't look that, that bad, but inwardly, man, you can only imagine how ugly they are, man. And it says, Thy men shall fall by the sword and the mighty in, war, in the war. Right? A lot of these women, you know, they like shooters. They like, <laughs> they like gangsters. A lot of them are going to be called off to war when this war starts, man, okay? And any man that is called over to that war is going to die in that war, man, World War Three, coming soon. You know, a lot of these uh, women chase men like that, man, and those are the men that are going to be called to go to war, and they're going to die over there. And it says, and once they go over there and they die, they're going to be left alone, right? And her gate shall lament and mourn, and she, being desolate, shall sit upon the grant uh, upon the ground. These women are going to be helpless and hopeless over here, man. The Heavenly Father is going to make women that conduct themselves this way suffer. You know, these women are going to, you know, they're laughing now, but they're definitely going to be crying later. Shalom.